To whom it may concern, I am calling out of things that stress me and only calling into things that bless me. Effective immediately. Thank you very Architecture is beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's just a bad angle, but yeah.
and I'm very humbled to be on this platform. And let me mention that I appreciate the invite that is, has been extended to me to come here and pay, pay a visit because I haven't been here in quite some time. The last time I was in um, Lawaiya was before 2010. So Dalam and So thank you for inviting me and letting Amadouzi as a report. So Koto Amadouzi basically is being um, embraced by the ancestors. You only are embraced by the ancestors if you walk on that land. So I'm walking on the land and I appreciate the invite and I appreciate being um, embraced. I think before I start speaking, I would like to thank the main important people who are here, the young people of Bulawayo. You guys give yourselves a round of applause. So I can see somebody who's got a grey beard like me clapping their hands when I say the young people of Zimbabwe, <laughs> of Bulawayo. It's a good thing. We are young. You're as young as you feel. You're as young as you would like to be or you, would like, or, or, or you want to be. And let me take off my phone first and acknowledge other speakers. The first person that I'd like to acknowledge is Ubutunko uh, Sana Masbisa. Thank you so much, Butwami. I appreciate you. Thank you for looking after us. Thank you for working with your team and putting this together. And I can see you're a worker. You're wearing overalls and boots. So being a worker, let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> I'm also a worker, so that's why you see me in overalls. I'm always working. I always um, would rather prefer my work wear as opposed to um, my other wear I'll wear in other platforms. But I love my work wear because it represents who I am, it represents what I stand for, who I stand for, and it also represents the brand or the business currently um, building. And let me also thank the next person who has been communicating with uh, Uputungo Sana to bring me here and invite me here. Um, Sister Farai, Farai Kundan. Thank you so much to Farai. I'd like to understand there's a book that I'd like to recommend to you, a book by George G. James. The book is called The Stolen Legacy. The book The Stolen Legacy talks about ancient or western civilization or Greek civilization actually having been stolen from the beautiful continent of Africa. On the first chapter of the book, they talk about the library that was burnt down. But it wasn't just only burnt down, there were books that were stolen there. There was a lot of our ancestors' information that was in there, that was taken to Europe. And a lot of us know what happened after that. For those who don't know, I'd like to encourage you to go read up on, um, on your history. And when you read that book, they emphasize the importance of books. Why did those people have to burn down that library? Why did they steal our books? But if he who wins the war writes the history. A lot of the history that we're reading today that we've been told, it's not her story or history. It's his story because they conquered us. And I don't want to go deeper into um, in a, 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 a politics or, or religion or those type of talks because I'm an entrepreneur. But I'm a conscious entrepreneur. I'm not a dumb entrepreneur. I need to know where I come from. I need to know my roots. I need to know who I am. I need to know who's off I am. I need to know who I'm representing. I need to know which millions and millions of genes I'm carrying in this body. Remember when you're sitting here, you're representing hundreds, if not more than a thousand of your ancestors, that their, their genes are running in your veins. You're not alone. As much as we always say God is on your Read their books, read autobiographies, come to places like this, interact with other incredible people who are doing well. It doesn't even have to be people from very far. It could just be somebody from down the road, somebody you know from your street corner who is a mama that's running his own business and they've been doing well for a while, or a mama that has been running a successful lodge or a BNP. There's so many people to learn from. My story comes from the streets. You can see my story on that screen behind me. You can see I've been putting in work. Don't just see this hair like this. By the way, this is my crown. When somebody says, hey, there's something wrong about them. 
because it means they've been taught or brainwashed to believe ukuthi umuntu omuntu omnyama yenyele ngiwele sikhula kusho ukuthi zimbi why umuntu ongoba ngathumulwa why nakaziyeka sikhula ngiwele but ufana no Jesus because my husband was brainwashed and don't believe I think my melanas is believe so i just want to tell you how awesome you are i just want to tell you that when you're sitting there now you will be sitting here next year if not the year after or the year after a lot of people start from here but this you didn't just be here you started from the worst of the worst worst conditions i know because i come from there i come from literally nothing mpumelo kushini mina ngesi pumele kas into ana se kas you can even see my legs the scratches from here to overseas those scratches cause me to start i was a young kid i love playing with other kids playing the soccer so when you see these people all dressed up in suits all dressed up in beautiful outfits men who are mad but go home make up they all got a story to tell they started from nothing so can you you can make yourself whatever you want to become you can be anything you more talented as I was saying Ella you carry genes of hundreds of thousands of people who have lived before you who did not live under the aircon today who did not live under these beautiful shelters who did not have tv who did not have wifi who did not have cell phones who did not have cars who did not even have shoes those are your ancestors that you are carrying in your body they were capable of building houses from nothing they were capable of surviving apartheid they were capable of doing some of the most greatest things that you can ever even be aware of because a lot of it has been hidden from us a lot of it the credit was taken by other people to make you believe less of yourself that's why i want to start doing something we have to make sure we deliver you have to be somebody of excellence you have to be somebody of perfection even when you are sending that email before you press enter or send reread over and over what you're writing the punctuation marks your spelling little things like that are very important how you carry yourself because who you are is determined by the things you do daily you can't be calling yourself a dancer when you're not dancing daily it doesn't matter what you you are not that yet if you want to become that you need to be that now here what are you doing now here that agrees with you when you are saying you are that If you are saying you are an inspiring or an inspirational speaker, what are you doing today that shows us that you are an incredible number one Zimbabwean or African inspirational speaker? If you are saying you are the best dancer in Africa, what are you doing today that proves who you can be in your dance every day? If you are saying you are the best musician, you are the best DJ, you are the best entrepreneur, you are the best designer, you are the best Bitcoin holder, whatever it is, what is guys remember? The future is not tomorrow. The future is today. Yeah. I was once young. I thought umuntu una photo umuntu mdiyala no. Yo, umuntu naba tuna photo eh umdiyala no umuntu. Today I'm for the dream. Ko kana mbona umuntu
but as a young entrepreneur, okay, 43, I'm still relatively young. I'm like, some of you guys have raised your hands earlier. Young as I am, I, I would like to believe. I'd like to thank the social media because remember when I was starting to find, I remember my Insta, I didn't even have an Instagram page. I only had Twitter and Facebook. I'm emphasizing the internet because guys, that is the tool that you have right now to better your life. You can do affiliate marketing with Amazon, the Amazon program. You can do affiliate marketing with takealot.com. You can do affiliate marketing with Alibaba or AliExpress. Or you can do, um, you can come up with company pay offline and get paid for that. You can watch ads all day and get paid for that. You can listen to music and get paid for that. You can play games and get paid for that. You can start a business and be smart enough to create what they call... Oh, slow, slow, slow. I'm going to go to my house. I'm going to go to my house. I'm going to go to my Virtually convert. There's a between me and I'm in a dog. It all happens in the microseconds. So what's coming out of my mouth, it's something I thought in a different language. So please forgive me when I make mistakes in English. It's not my mother tongue. <laughs> my word. Let me come back in front. <laughs> so I did all these different things. Now you postpone them. Do them now. I do things now. When I'm given a book, I read it now. When I'm being suggested a certain book, I do it now. If I remember that I owe someone an email, because I've remembered now, I send it now. If somebody asks me of something and I have it, I share it now. I don't say I'm going to do it tomorrow, I'm going to do it on Friday. Do it man. now. Because my future is when? Now. I would not be having a conversation with the public broadcaster today or the SABC if I'd given up on my Mofia dream. Imagine how people would be making an example of me. Oh, no, 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 no. I'd be those people. They'll forever be making examples about me for the rest of my life. Oh, we're trying to start what? A cold drink, a energy drink. Oh, forget it. There was once one guy called DJ School. He tried, he tried it. <laughs> They'll forever make them finish what you start. Sure. Finish what you start. Can we say it together? Finish what, what you start. start. And guys, words are power. Yeah. Everything you say out of your mouth, we are your building. When you read the Bible in Genesis, it talks about the power of words. In the beginning, there was the word. So whatever is in here, you put it in there. It starts with everything you interact with from since you were a baby. That's why they say, give me a child for just the first six years, I'll give you a grown woman. Give me a child for the first six years, I'll give you a grown man. Because you only need those six years of their lives. And this goes to parents as well. Those parents who don't spend time with their children, you're missing the most golden years of your children. If you don't live with them or spend enough time as much as you can and brainwash them in your own way for the first six years. So I've lived the fleshy life, I've made the mistakes, I've lost a lot of money. I've been a laughing stock in front of people, I've been made jokes about, I've been called whatever, but I believed in who? In yourself. I never gave up. And I didn't know that today people will be inviting me to all these prestigious, amazing places because I'm not a scholar. I'm not the most intelligent person. I was never even the most intelligent person in class. But I will outwork you. I will out hustle you. Why? Because I'm a hard worker. I'm a doer. I'm a rise above. I'm an act. Not to get to somewhere. I act. I make things happen. I'm a doer. I get things done right now. I fold my sleeves and I go to the team and I get it done. I don't pass the buck. I don't complain. Guys, remember, the more you complain, the more you are embedding that habit of always complaining in your own mind. Where you are then you to always complaining, then we must keep our governments accountable. We must keep our politicians accountable. But just complaining and complaining and complaining and doing nothing won't make any difference. That's why I was saying to you, thoughts become things. 
but thoughts cannot become things if you don't act. You have to act. And then Zechariah put in the work. And daily, the work has to be put in daily, perfectly, the best way it has to be put in. I mean, if you go to my office or any of my businesses, or say, message, or go read any one of my books, my work has been blessed enough that I strive for excellence. If you got too much self hate to say, hey, you're a say I'm a shagata. Go look at my businesses and come back and speak to me. The people who wear those amandis and shoes and all those things you're talking about. Abanda bang seven zela. Abanda bang koga maova. Abanda bang seven zela. Iba bang koa. Iba bang mami no te zinke. Minam so. Minam a fighter. And I'm fighting to build my business and I'm fighting to share as much information as possible with future leaders of Africa, future dynamic minds of this amazing continent. As we've got a minute, we can see which there's a system here and the people who have put it in place, they are great grandchildren, are not willing to dismantle the system. So how do we get out of it? We must find ways. You know, a hustler is someone who can live in the desert and say, yeah, this one is going to die. And when you arrive here, the hustler is here before you. You're like, how did this one didn't die? A hustler is someone who push out of the plane, and as they're falling from the sky, they build a parachute on their way down. A hustler is a rise above from the Sheleman Zin. A hustler who not have no human in the shape, no very human in being, no human being in your It's from a poor family. He probably doesn't even have parents who pay him a Mara is the same person who's not knocked long and a final office who's of Unum Seven is so good interview after 30 years of Kumbos with him that you were saying I'm not going to amount to anything. That's a hustle. A hustler is a tool. A hustler is a game changer. A hustler is somebody who believes in themselves. A hustler is somebody who makes things happen. A hustler is somebody who hustles for their family, their community, and for Africa at large. A hustler is somebody who's a rise of power who turns things around. A hustler is somebody who runs in when everybody else is running out. A hustler is somebody with patience. A hustler who knows that they don't go to school. A hustler is somebody who's passionate about their continent. A hustler is somebody who's passionate about the work, the deed. A hustler does. A hustler doesn't only talk. A hustler is a doer, a game changer, an act. Somebody who turns things around. A hustler who never just so writer of so cool mega. They will bounce back. Why? Because they are a hustler. Welcome to the Hustlers Summit. When are we going to stop complaining and start doing? Maybe we shouldn't stop complaining, but let's start doing. But remember what I said earlier when I said words are power. Maybe the more you complain, maybe Nkulungulu or what other people would call the universe, maybe it gives you more things to complain about. What if they're always listening to you? If you want to call them universe, you want to call them Nkulungulu, whatever you want to call it. What if it gives you everything you think of? What if you're a magician, what you think of you can create? What if you're a magician, that what you think of? When you keep saying it over and over, and you start doing some work, what if you can create it? What if you're that much of an amazing magician? Well, that's what I'm here to tell you. You are. You are that. It's just that you've been distracted, and your mind has been played around with. Your mind has been made to believe that it's less significant. Your mind has been made to believe that because of family, because of your background, because of where you come from, because of how you look, because of how you speak, you probably think you're not good enough. Well, I'm here, man, again, from all the way from Etemis, in South Africa, in Zotel, because you are good enough. You are even better than me. You are even better than all of those people that are on stage today. Why? Because when we were growing up, we didn't have this. No. Don't leave tomorrow, leave now. Your time is now. You're smart enough, you can read, you can write, you can speak English, you've got great ideas, you can come together with other young people and lead. Your time is now. Lead in entrepreneurship, lead in agriculture, lead in broadcasting and media, lead in industri industrialization, lead in, 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 in politics. So some of you guys want to be in politics, some of you guys are studying political science, or some of you guys probably even have more political will than our politicians do. Because a lot of them have been living a great time for many, many years.
many years. And when a lot of the time, when people have been living a great time for, for many years, they turn to end up being in a comfort zone. When they're in a comfort zone, they tend to forget what it's like to struggle. They tend to forget what ordinary people on the ground are going through. And those people are going to make a difference in any country is entrepreneurs. Not anyone is going to stand up and say, I'm going to lead. And when we are saying, stand up and say, I'm going to lead, we're not saying stand up and go mobilize people in your community and say, yeah, I'm going to lead you all. No, not necessarily. Lead your own business the best way you know how. Lead yourself the best way you know. Guys, you are the future. You are the ones who are young. Anybody who's older right now, as much as they might have that elderly wisdom which we all need for guidance, you guys have got the youthful energy. You guys have got the time on your side. You guys have got history on your side. You can write your own history. Stop letting other people write your history. Write your own history. Stop talking about Bill Gates. Stop talking about Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk. Stop talking about Steve Jobs. Start talking about those are the type of names that we need to be reading about. Local people that are creating things. Local people that are starting things. Local people that are making change in the community. And not everybody wants to be an entrepreneur to grow a business. But there's some other people, or some of you guys who are passionate enough that want to start NGOs. You probably just want to start an NGO and start doing good work in your community. What is stopping you? Funding is not stopping you. Why are you waiting for funding? Why are you waiting for somebody else to tell you that you must start? Start now. Start now, not tomorrow. Start now. Your future is now. As soon as this event is done tonight, if you are blessed enough to have internet around your area or at home, use that internet to your advantage. Your internet right now at Donavasika is your way out. Register an internet account. Get into all these different social media platforms. Treat yourself as a brand. Open up your own website. Find a way how you link your website with your social media. What is it that you think you know and you think you can teach other people out there? The answers are inside of you. The answers are with the skills that you currently have. The answers are within your own immediate circles. The answers are not on stage with those people. The answers are not with the politicians. The answers are with you. If you stand up and start deciding to tell yourself, I want to change my life. I want to have a great future. I want to become a better person. You start now. You start personally developing yourself. It's called personal development. Personal development starts with you. Not, none of us were all perfect in the beginning. I was also like once young. I was young and out of order. At some point, I made a lot of mistakes. At some point, some people were embarrassed to call themselves my cousins or to call themselves my parents. I disappointed my parents too at some point. I was once and I made a lot of mistakes. I don't think I'm the only one. I think all of the people that are there, including the people that you guys look up to, a lot of them have had a past that when they start telling you their stories, you're like, what? Even this person that I look up to so much have also made mistakes. I didn't think so. Jalo, when you come, let them smell it nice. Try
Do do do.